What's going on? My name is Emmett with Extreme Element Outdoors, and if you enjoy deer hunting, shed hunting, turkey hunting, whatever you may have it, this is the channel for you. So make sure to not only watch this video, but check out some of our other videos and click the subscribe button down below because we have a lot of awesome content coming from the 2019-2020 season. And this particular video is the final hunt of my 2018-2019 season. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Today's gonna be the last day I can hunt.
Yeah, he's down. to the last minute. Oh my gosh. You got it. I can't believe that. This was my last day to hunt. And uh, I was packing up. And what do you know? I looked up and there was one deer that stepped out in the field. All the deer had already cleared off the field. And uh, I don't even know why I'm whispering right now, but <laughs> basically he was the last deer that stepped out. I looked down like, that's that big eight. And you know, we had him, we had him at 150 yards at the beginning of the late muzzleloader season. But I held off because I thought he was younger, but then I went back and looked at more, um, you know, I went back and looked at the footage and I looked at pictures of him compared to other deer. And I was thinking, oh, that's an old deer. And he's a great looking buck. He stepped out last night. <laughs> wow, I mean, that's, that's all coming together at the very last minute. thing was too, the thing was, was we seen those, we had seen those bucks that, we had seen those bucks that were limping, there's three bucks that have shown up in the past week that was all with a limp, and none of them, like, would, would, I, would I shoot if they were completely healthy, but I was really contemplating shooting one of them, and then he stepped out with that buck, so I had to make the decision which one do I want to shoot, and they were both, that had been 170 yards, that's my farthest shot with the muzzle loader, that, they, were, they were far, I mean, that was a, that was a poke. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna type like brag up a shot. But that was a good poke. Um, but yeah, that's I got. I, wow, I just lost for words. Yeah, like I said, I was I was just this close to eating both my tags. I'm eating one this year. But I mean, I didn't have to shoot a deer to be happy. This was the best season yet. But I mean, I guess this is just the cherry on top. And I'm I'm pumped. So we'll we'll get packed up. We'll go get we'll get dad and then and we'll come back and we'll check it out. All right, let's go check her out. Oh, oh he's a good buck, ain't he? That's a great buck, and I can't believe it. You know, it came down to the last second. Uh, last, this was the last day I could hunt all year, and uh, 10 minutes before the legal shooting light ended, he stepped out. He was pushing a bunch of bucks around on the field, and uh, we made it happen. You know, beautiful buck. Um, a lot of hard work put in this year to get on a buck, and uh, got a lot of work ahead of Ahead of us, I start my full-time job tomorrow. First day on the job, so we got to take care of this buck tonight. But man, it's been a long year, and I sure am pleased with him. What a great buck! I don't even know where I hit him. <laughs>